Hey guys, how are you? It's Big Nostalgia here once again and what I would like to do with you today is to review the Vintage Space set number 6981 uh, from 1991 and uh, which means in other words that I'm talking about uh, the set you see here that is uh, um, one of the Black Throne 2 series sets from the early 90s, okay? Uh, <clears throat> this uh, set actually is one from my uh, childhood uh, it was a Christmas present from when I was about 9-10 years old I do remember it very well I do remember very well um, trying to look through the packaging uh, I do remember when the presents were under the Christmas tree to try to look through the packaging to see uh, what what was the picture on the front cover of the box that would have uh, made me understand uh, which one would have been my Christmas present. Very briefly, before we move uh, to the set uh, itself, I would like um, to show you the instruction. And uh, it's not uh, uh, really about the instruction, that show you anything about the build itself but actually it's about the end um, the structure where you can see that there are two um, alternate builds suggested that are also present in the box but I don't have the box so I'm gonna show you this <coughs> about uh, these two builds about this one I really don't like it I, th I just find it pretty ugly so I will just move on from that but what I find very interesting is this one not just because I find quite nice uh, of a quite good looking design these two uh, builds especially this one that has this particular use of uh, these translucent pieces uh, but also because with this one that I don't really like uh, still but uh, uh, it shows you a very interesting concept that was promoted a lot uh, in throughout the whole 80s and 90s uh, with LEGO sets which was uh, to uh, build alternate stuff from um, and move away from the original build uh, that was uh, the one sponsored in the in, in, in the set uh, in order to push the creativity of the kid. Now, what was interesting, what is interesting of this picture and that was, uh, there's not unique but it used to be present in other pictures, is that from the original set, which was just a one thing, one object, you can see that here you can build up to three. You can build a very little space station, for example, you can pretend that this is such a thing. And then you can also at the same time, only with the same piece, build uh, a, a little rover, a terrain rover, but also a spaceship. And this was the type of things that also when I was a, when I was a kid uh, stimulated a lot my creativity and uh, was uh, one, one of the inputs to find these things in instructions or in the back of the boxes. They used to push me a lot on uh, creating my my own things. If I had an idea, a little car or a little spaceship or a little truck that I wanted to try to build just to go for it without um, having to worry too much about having any extractions or uh, stuck, remain stuck to any particular official set. Okay, so I just wanted to spend a minute uh, on this because I thought it was an important thing that uh, if you are not to my age or older, but you are a nowadays kid, maybe you don't really, uh, you're not really very aware of. I don't have the box because I used to rip boxes apart when I used to get the sets when I was a kid, so everything was just going in the bin straight away within seconds from the moment I used to get it. So unfortunately, I really don't have any box left from my childhood, uh, from the sets of my childhood. I just nothing just mad it did matter nothing to me unfortunately a different story nowadays but uh, what can you do what's what is done it's done to the set itself i really love it what uh, i like of this build is the features so i'm just gonna go through a very quick um overview of both front and back 
and as you can see the very interesting feature of the back while very often there's not really much going on on the back of uh, of a set in this case you can see that there is this <coughs> this uh, uh, section here that can open up and there is this compartment that can hold uh, this piece that is a tool for uh, for the minifig it's a lot sort of like um, jetpack I would say that is supposed to allow the minifigure to uh, to fly around I will uh, I will show you that later uh, putting it on a minifigure and then you go back here to the front where the main uh, where all the rest of the features are okay the very first in, first interesting feature that is present in lots of the Blacktron 2 um, theme sets are is, is that you can uh, take these uh, uh, cockpit sections take them off the main build as you can see here and make them two little uh, spaceships and um, when I was a kid I went crazy about this uh, I can't tell you why it's just that probably this was the very first set where there was the chance to plug and unplug something and it really I remember it struck me a lot as soon as I built uh, this, uh, this set and I could see that there was the feature coming uh, there was this feature allow me to take things apart but in a organize in a structured way was uh, was mind blowing to me as a kid so as you can see here you can open it up from both sides and uh, also you can move forward these other pieces in order to leave all the room you need in order to play with a minifigure I really like the design of these little uh, spaceships they're very small very light and uh, I don't know I like a lot the, the shape of the cockpit I really like it a lot however there was two of them coming with uh, with the set we're gonna move on the side and now I think comes the main feature which was the one more than anything else that uh, drove me crazy about this set made me play with this for for hours and hours on daily basis if you now put on the side these two little parts in order to unlock this big canopy piece what happens is that as you lift it up you will allow these two little rovers to come out so let me put them in frame <clears throat> and what you can see here now that the rovers are out is that automatically as soon as you as you put up, as you lift up the canopy piece, there will be this slope or this uh, plate that automatically goes up and down in order to prepare everything ready for the rovers to come down. The two rovers are very, very small, very basic design, so not really much to say about it. I'm just going to give you a very quick overview. And then I'm just going to give you a close up of uh, this section. As you can see, there is a whole little system. You can see it from the instructions. But what happens is just pretty, it's pretty easy. It's over here. It's just that this little piece here that is connected to this canopy section just pushes the plate that forms this this slope that moves up and down but it's uh, when I was a kid I went crazy because I was blown away about uh, the level of playability how these features like this feature like increase the, the level of playability of this set exponentially because it's a whole spaceship at the beginning but then you can split these sections on the sides and then you got the two little rovers and uh, you know you you, you can just uh, set no limits uh, to your imagination now I'm just gonna take back this jetpack I'm gonna take one minifigure 
and I'm just gonna put it back on I'm just gonna put it on one of the minifigures just to show you <clears throat> just uh, before I leave just to show you as I already mentioned that a few minutes ago so you can put this whole thing on and you can see that now this uh, little minifigure can fly whatever it wants or just take seats on one of the rovers and just go for some exploration and I just love this set, I love it and uh, it, will, it will always remain in my collection I will never sell it, I will never do anything, I'm just gonna build it and I will just put it on uh, display when I will have the chance uh, I think that's it guys, not much more to say uh, I have the whole uh, collection of uh, the Black, Lo Black, Ro Black Throne 2 sorry guys, Black Throne 2 uh, team the only thing missing is the big um, is the big base I don't have it yet, I'm planning to have it in the future uh, unfortunately at the moment I'm very busy buying other LEGO sets so that's gonna, I'm very focused on the trains right now so uh, I will buy it at one day but it's going to be only in a while it's not the first of my priorities at the moment for the rest everything else uh, and that's the only one missing uh, everything else was from my childhood so very lucky about this indeed okay so thank you very much guys I'm gonna leave you with a few pictures please rate comment and subscribe if uh, if you wanna um, see more and uh, I'm gonna leave you I'll see you soon guys I'm gonna leave you just with a few takes on this set okay thanks